This is the Netherlands, home to over 17 million people. What's its capital? Amsterdam, the home of over 800,000 people, lots of painting, and red lights. Well, not exactly. Even though it's the most known capital, the whole government is located in The Hague. Why would it be located in this relatively obscure place? Well, first some history. In 1566, the Netherlands declared independence from Spain starting the Eight Years' War. Initially, Dordrecht was made the capital. It was home to the Stadtholder, or the King, and the rest of the government. In 1588, the capital was moved to The Hague with all the government. Why the city? Because it's the regional capital of Holland. Now, the independent Dutch Republic was more of a confederacy and not a single country, similar to the initial United States. And also, like the initial United States, a serious crisis bound the nation together. For the United States, it was the Civil War, and for the Netherlands, it was the Napoleonic War. So why is Amsterdam considered the capital today? Well, during the Eight Years' War, most of the 17 provinces rebelled for independence. The capital of the time was Antwerp, which was burned to the ground, and many of those people moved to Amsterdam. Amsterdam also gained lots of trade because they were relatively loyal to Spain and didn't get as pillaged as the rest of the country. With this head start and the fact that the Netherlands made a giant colonial empire, Amsterdam became the biggest, most prosperous port city in the Low Countries. In spite of this, the Hague remained the capital because the rural areas in the Hague remained very loyal to the monarchy, while Amsterdam and the other major cities were Republicans. Then you may ask, why is Amsterdam considered the capital? Well, in 1814, after the whole Napoleonic Wars, the king moved the royal family to the city to appease it. From then on, the kings lived in Amsterdam, and royal weddings occur there most of the time. In 1983, the constitution was revised, and Article 32 was changed to say, The king shall be sworn in and inaugurated as soon as possible in the capital city, Amsterdam. And ever since, there have been two capitals, The Hague, home to the legislative and judiciary, and Amsterdam, where the kings live.